This video will discuss the chimney for the Dollar Store dollhouse. When I started building the chimney, I did not have a clear idea for the dimensions, but I did have a general impression that the chimney should be proportional to the house and dormers. I created a prototype with the bottom cut to couple the roof. I liked my first attempt and went forward with this design. I built an identical pair of the chimney structures and decided to create a chimney cap that was just slightly larger than the width and depth of the chimney. The caps were made with a base layer of the black foam board and a perimeter comprised of three layers of one half inch wide white foam board. The white foam board will be covered, but the black center portion is left untreated to provide the illusion of depth. Like other areas of the construction, the edges of the chimney form were strengthened with drywall tape and secured with glue. Two ply one half inch strips of foam board were added to the interior corners to further reinforce the structure. In keeping with the window seals, I decided to wrap the chimney caps with the untreated egg carton material to resemble gray granite slab. This was a little tricky to find ample flat areas. I designed segments that would wrap around the sides of the white foam board, then cut these from the egg cartons. I had to make do with some segments that were smaller than the design. I creased the back side of the egg carton segments with an X-Acto knife and straight edge along the desired folds. This helped to keep the edges more uniform. I first applied the shorter sides. These were designed with a small flap that wraps around the side. When the longer sections are applied, the flaps will help hide any gaps. The longer side pieces were then applied to cover the white foam board and the flaps of the shorter side pieces. The surface of the egg carton and black foam board were treated with matte Mod Podge. After this dried, I lightly sanded the seams of the egg carton segments to help blend the edges together. When treating the surface of the chimney, I decided to apply the same faux stone egg carton technique used for the house body. I had also considered treating this with brick, but thought the stone looked more harmonious with the stone house. The stones were treated with Mod Podge and a drywall compound was applied as mortar. The surface of the stones was wiped with a sponge and water, but I allowed some residue to remain in the crevices of the stone. A flat clear coat spray was used to seal the surface and this also reduces the white residue that brings out more of the stone color. Please see the egg carton stone video for additional details. To attach the chimney cap, I use caulking instead of glue. There were a few gaps between the cap and the top of the chimney and the caulking helped to fill this area nicely. I had some flexibility in where to place the chimneys along the top ridge of the roof. I could have placed these close to the edge to align with the exterior wall. However, I did not like having a very small segment of the roof to shingle. Instead, I moved this inward one inch from the edge. This allowed more integrity of the outer roof shell once the holes are cut. Also, the roof tiles are one inch in length, which will make the area perfect for covering with roof tiles. The holes for the chimneys were cut in the outer roof foam board before the roof tiles were applied. Once the tiling was complete, the chimneys were glued into position. A video on the final assembly will cover the remaining details. Thanks for watching.